Adobe Flash Professional is now known as Adobe Animate CC. Rest assured that everything you see in this video, as applied to Flash Professional CC, is exactly the same in Adobe Animate CC. Edge Animate and Flash Professional animate content in very different ways. Let's look at interaction workflows using Edge Animate's pin tool and compare that with the robust tweening system in Flash Professional. So here inside of Edge Animate, we have this simple animation here where some hills and mountains come up and then the backpack appears. If I want to actually animate things within Edge Animate, I can use what's known as the pin. And to do that, I can double click on the playhead and then we get this little blue pen, which allows us to pin the current properties. And then we have the playhead, which tells us exactly where we're going to shift things around. So perhaps I want to have everything end up in the same place. So I pin that. However, I want the backpack to sort of show up a little bit down here first. So to do that, I can just drag it down a little bit and then redouble click. And then he sort of appears from below like that. Let's preview this again. All right, very nice. Hopping over to Flash Professional, I have the exact same animation here. And let's preview that. So perhaps we want to do the same thing. Since we already have a motion tween right here, we can go ahead and anywhere along the span of this tween, select the item to tween, and then very similarly, just pull it down a little bit, just like we did with Edge Animate. All right, let's go ahead and preview this. And we see everything come in in a very similar way to what we saw in Animate. Within Flash Professional, we actually have a number of different choices in how we can tween objects. So if I create a new layer here, and let's just call this cloud, and go way back to the beginning of our animation, I can go ahead and create a simple shape using the line tool, choosing the color of white, and going into our brush library, and choosing a nice cloud art brush going ahead and increasing the stroke width, we get this nice fluffy cloud. So if I wanted to tween this from one side of the stage to the other, I can go ahead and choose where I want it to tween to and insert a new keyframe. And then between these two keyframes, right click on that frame span and create a shape tween. I can then adjust each of these keyframes to create the desired motion, just like that.